Just last week, federal agents raided two homes of rapper and music mogul Sean P. Diddy Combs in Los Angeles and Miami. Combs is the subject of a federal investigation. Again, we do not know what is the information that law enforcement had before going in to execute that search warrant. Hold on to your hats, folks, because the latest bombshell to hit Hollywood is hotter than a California wildfire. In a shocking turn of events, evidence unearthed during a raid on Diddy's lavish mansions has blown the lid off a clandestine affair that nobody saw coming. Yes, you heard that right. The one and only Sean Diddy Combs has been caught in a steamy tryst with none other than the legendary Steve Harvey. Can you believe it? We sure couldn't, but the proof is in the pudding, folks. It's like haters. When you get haters, you know, people's opinion of you is none of your business. I have lots of haters. But wait, it gets juicier. This isn't just your run of the mill Hollywood hookup. Oh no, Syrie. We're delving into the dark underbelly of the entertainment industry where secrets lurk behind every velvet rope and scandals simmer beneath the glitz and glam. From hidden homosexual rituals to clandestine affairs, it seems like there's no end to the drama unfolding in Tinseltown. And poor Diddy. Well, let's just say his days in the limelight might be numbered. With federal agents knocking on his door and legal troubles mounting faster than you can say lights, camera, action, it looks like the music mogul's empire is on the brink of collapse. But in this perverted, sick, twisted industry, these gatekeepers do hold access to certain levels, you know? But here's the kicker. He's not going down alone. Oh no, he's dragging everyone down with him, including the unsuspecting Steve Harvey. So buckle up, folks, because we're in for a wild ride. From Hollywood's best, kept secrets to the scandal of the century, we're bringing you all the latest gossip, intrigue, and drama straight from the heart of La La Land. It's a story you won't want to miss. So grab your popcorn and get ready to dive headfirst into the scandalous world of the rich and famous. But as we buckle up for this roller coaster ride through the glitz and glam of Hollywood, it's crucial to peel back the layers of secrecy shrouding the entertainment industry. Behind the dazzling facade of fame and fortune lies a shadowy world of hidden truths and whispered scandals. And nowhere is this more apparent than in the realm of hip hop, where machismo reigns supreme and reputations are built on a foundation of bravado and masculinity. Enter Terrence Dean, a former executive at MTV whose explosive memoir has sent shockwaves through the hip-hop community. Dean's revelations paint a vivid picture of a thriving homosexual subculture lurking beneath the surface of an aggressively male-dominated industry. From secret trysts to whispered confessions, Dean's memoir exposes the hidden lives of industry insiders, challenging the public perception of hip-hop's macho image. And they have said to me, yo, I had to suck a lot of to get to this position. But while Dean's book may shine a light on the industry's darkest secrets, it also raises questions about the pervasive culture of homophobia that continues to plague hip-hop. Despite growing acceptance in mainstream society, many artists still feel compelled to conceal their true selves, fearing the repercussions of being labeled as other in an industry built on hyper-masculinity. As we delve deeper into the tangled web of secrets and scandals, one thing becomes clear. The truth behind the music industry's carefully curated image is far more complex than meets the eye. And with each revelation, we inch closer to uncovering the full extent of the drama unfolding behind closed doors. Rumors have long swirled around Diddy, suggesting that his flamboyant persona hides a deeply private truth. Whispers of his sexuality have circulated for years, fueled by tales of his extravagant parties and hedonistic lifestyle. It's... <laughs> I know what usually happens at the Diddy party, or what we told this happened at the Diddy parties. These soirees held in opulent mansions and exclusive locales have become legendary in their debauchery. Insiders speak of wild nights filled with excess, where inhibitions are shed like yesterday's news and boundaries blur beneath a haze of decadence. One particularly notorious setting for Diddy's revelry is the sun-soaked paradise of Ibiza. Here, amidst the azure waters and pulsating beats, the rapper's penchant for indulgence knows no bounds. From lavish villas to luxury yachts, his entourage navigates the island's party scene with reckless abandon, leaving a trail of scandal in their wake. You know, they probably got a little bit more freakier, you know, as time went on. But it's not just the extravagant setting that sets tongues wagging. It's the guests who frequent these gatherings that truly raise eyebrows. Among them is none other than the irrepressible Steve Harvey, whose presence at Diddy's side sparks speculation of a deeper connection between the two. Insiders whisper of intimate moments shared in the shadows, of whispered confidences and lingering glances that hint at something more than mere friendship. 
Uh, it's just crazy. Just read, read. According to sources close to the pair, Steve Harvey is no stranger to the clandestine world of Hollywood's elite. As a frequent guest at Diddy's parties, he enjoys privileged access to the inner circle, often appearing as the music mogul's personal guest. But it's what happens behind closed doors that truly piques curiosity. In a shocking revelation, a former bodyguard claimed to have video evidence of Harvey spending extended periods alone with Diddy after the party ends, casting doubt on the true nature of their bond. Could it be that Harvey, like Diddy, harbors secrets of his own? As the whispers grow louder and the rumors swirl, it seems increasingly likely that there's more to this story than meets the eye. And in this lawsuit, he claims that essentially P. Diddy was the Epstein of the rap industry. Indeed, the bond between Diddy and Steve Harvey appears to run deeper than meets the eye. Beneath the facade of friendship lies a tangled web of secrets and lies, where truth and fiction blur into one. Speculation abounds as to the nature of their connection, with whispers of hidden desires and forbidden passions fueling the gossip mill. Many fans believe that everything fits. To hide their true sexuality, Steve Harvey and Diddy are dating girls for cover. It's a common tactic used by celebrities, a smokescreen to deflect from their true affections. However, what sets this alleged charade apart is the cruelty with which both men treat their supposed partners. Steve Harvey's tumultuous history with his ex-wife, Mary Shackelford, provides a chilling backdrop to these rumors. Hey, hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. Well, Steve's learning that the hard way tonight. Steve's ex-wife, Mary Harvey, is angry, and she's going public. Harvey's relationship with his second wife, Mary Shackelford, was far from a fairy tale romance. Their marriage ended in a messy divorce with accusations of infidelity and mistreatment. Shackelford's $60 million lawsuit against Harvey painted a damning picture of their union, alleging a litany of abuses, including torture, conspiracy against rights, kidnapping. Uh, but it's been like that since 2005, why, so this though? is nothing. But why is it in Because we have a man of power and authority. and he A judge ultimately threw out the lawsuit, but the allegations lingered in the public consciousness, casting a shadow over Harvey's image. Shackelford's claims of emotional and psychological abuse added fuel to the fire of speculation surrounding Harvey's personal life, fueling rumors that his marriage to Marjorie Harvey might not be as picture-perfect as it seems. In the midst of these whispers, Diddy's own reputation for excess and debauchery only adds to the intrigue. His opulent lifestyle and legendary parties paint a portrait of a man who indulges in every pleasure the world has to offer. But behind the scenes, darker rumors swirl, hinting at a man haunted by his own secrets. I would say, like, to be careful with what we're hearing, because obviously people are just, like, piling on to the And just when we thought we'd reached the depths of this scandalous affair, a new revelation emerges, plunging us even further into the abyss of Hollywood's darkest secrets. It seems that Steve Harvey, the affable host of Family Feud, has been unwittingly dragged into this horror by none other than his own stepdaughter, Lori Harvey. Now, let's unpack this twisted tale of familial ties and forbidden desires. Lori Harvey, at the tender age of 22, finds herself at the center of a storm of controversy, her name linked to the enigmatic ditty in a whirlwind of speculation and scandal. But what makes this saga truly jaw-dropping is the giant age gap between Diddy and Lori, mirroring that between Lori and her stepfather, Steve Harvey. 22 and 49. Diddy is 49 years old. Oh, man! That is a 27-year difference. The dynamics of their relationship raise eyebrows and set tongues wagging as theories abound about the true nature of their connection. Could it be that Steve, in a shocking twist, loaned Lori to his lover Diddy for a convenient cover to his lover Diddy for a convenient cover to hide their personal connection? It's a theory that sends shockwaves through the gossip mill, igniting a firestorm of speculation about the lengths people will go to protect their secrets in the cutthroat world of Hollywood. Her mother is 54 years old. Her mother is five years older. <laughs> but let's backtrack for a moment and examine the history of Diddy and Lori's relationship. Rumors of their romance first surfaced in the summer of 2019, sending paparazzi into a frenzy as they trailed the pair across the globe. From intimate lunches in Italy to sun-soaked escapades in Mexico, their globe-trotting adventures fueled the flames of speculation, leaving us all clamoring for answers. Despite the mounting evidence of their closeness, both Diddy and Lori remained tight-lipped about the nature of their relationship, leaving us to piece together the puzzle on our own. And just when it seemed like we had all the answers, they threw us a curveball, with rumors of a breakup swirling in the air like confetti at a Hollywood premiere. When it comes to dating, Lori ain't got a damn thing. I got but as the saying goes, the plot thickens. New photos emerge, courtesy of The Shade Room, depicting Lori and Diddy together once again, their body language speaking volumes as they enjoy a cozy lunch date. And who's conspicuously absent from this rendezvous? None other than Steve Harvey himself raising questions about his role in this sordid affair. 
As the public eagerly awaits Steve Harvey's response to these damning images, his silence speaks volumes. While Diddy continues to vehemently deny any wrongdoing, the walls are closing in around him. His attorney's impassioned defense may sway some, but with federal agents circling like vultures, the specter of the RICO Act looms large on the horizon. For those unfamiliar with the RICO Act, it's the big guns of federal prosecution, typically reserved for cases involving organized crime. If prosecutors can establish a pattern of racketeering activity within Diddy's empire, the consequences could be dire. Jail time, hefty fines, and the tarnishing of his once untouchable reputation are all very real possibilities. What about Steve Harvey? While there is no concrete evidence linking him to Diddy's alleged misdeeds, the latest rumors are raising questions. Could he be more deeply involved than we originally thought? Time will tell, but one thing is certain. The scandal that shook Hollywood to its core is far from over. Now it's your turn to chime in. What do you make of this tangled web of secrets and scandals? Do you think Steve Harvey is truly innocent or could there be more to his involvement than meets the eye? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and let's keep the conversation going. That's all for now, folks. Until next time and keep your eyes peeled, 